corn rootworm beetles. There are many different types, northern, western, southern, doesn't make a whole lot of difference. What we care about is, hey, if you see corn rootworm beetles, you had rootworms feeding in your corn, number one, and number two, those corn rootworm beetles can cause a problem coming up here over the course of the next month. So let's talk about what these things do and why we want to control them and how we're going to control them. Corn rootworm beetles are the adult stage of the corn rootworm. When we think about corn rootworms, a lot of times we think about the larvae stage that's feeding down on that root system. And when we're talking about yield robbing abilities, that's the worst part of this bug most years. So we're looking at the root feeding. Now, once those larvae have completed their cycle of life, they're going to emerge from the ground as these adult beetles. They look similar to a ladybug, generally a little longer, thinner than what you'll see with most ladybugs. And, and these corn rootworm beetles, as Brian said, there are many different types of them, so they're going to look different. There's gonna be different colors, different markings on them and all that, and that's fine. We can control them all just the same, and as far as I'm concerned, between the northerns, westerns, southerns, they all do similar damage to the root system. Their life cycle may change just a little bit with extended diapause and all that with certain types of these bugs. But the important thing right now is you've got adult beetles, they're very easy to kill. And if you do kill the beetles before they lay eggs, you're not going to see more rootworms out in your field. So stopping them now is a great time to get it done. Well, the other reason why you want to get it done now is just because of pollination. It's very possible if you have so many rootworm beetles, they could chew down those silks and you don't have good pollination. It's going to take a lot of beetles though, so it's rare when we see that problem. But in terms of control, the best thing you can do is go out there and spray an insecticide. The silencer, for example, costs two bucks an acre for the full rate. But the whole thing is a lot of people deal with spider mites or they worry about mite flare-ups at this time of year. So you may consider using a bifenthrin product, something like Capture Brigade. But if you're in the southern part of the United States, maybe on the west coast, east coast, that might not cut it for spider mite control. You might have to use something else. But the whole point is you can go dirt cheap two bucks an acre silencer is going to control these beetles. It's just if you need to control other bugs, you might have to switch products. So here's the big thing. When you're out scouting your fields, don't just look for signs of feeding on the above ground portion of the plant. That's oftentimes not going to tell you very much. There can be problem insects like these corn rootworm beetles that are out in your field. And hey, you know, this isn't the life cycle or the stage of their life cycle where they're causing all this damage to your crop. It was the larvae stage where they caused all the damage. Now they're not chewing your leaves off or anything like that. But if you're seeing a lot of these beetles, take note. If you're seeing beetles, you had a rootworm larvae problem. You can do some root digs out in your field and see the damage for yourself if you want. But right now, here's a great time to control those beetles. So in summary here with corn rootworm beetles, yes, they aren't the beetle stage, at least, isn't the most harmful pest ever. But when you see them out there, and there are quite a few, and let's say you're out spraying anyway, you want to spray a fungicide or a foliar fertilizer or an extra shot of something, anything, you can throw some insecticide in, get those beetles under control. That's going to mean you're going to have fewer rootworms next year. You're going to have less risk of poor pollination. So there are some good things that come with that for a very small price. I, I would say too, you know, when you see a lot of rootworm beetles, then you also need to be thinking about, hey, I had a corn rootworm problem this year. Okay, apparently my trait didn't do it or my insecticide didn't do it. I'd start making some alternative plans going forward because I can almost guarantee you, you lost some yield if you see lots of beetles from that early rootworm larvae feeding. Well, and you talk to your seed provider and say, hey, you know what, here is the trait that I used and I've got some beetles out there so it didn't get them 100%. Right. Guess what? If you're spraying insecticide right now, you're killing the resistant beetles. <laughs> so right. instead of having them go uh, reproduce more, lay more eggs and have more of a resistance issue next year, maybe you can stop a lot of that problem right now. I'm not suggesting you can completely stop it, but hey, if you wipe out all those beetles that got through that BT trait, uh, that's a good thing for your farm. Long well, term. as long as you do it quickly, because you want to do it before they lay eggs. After they've laid the eggs, all it is is a revenge kill. You're not going to get, uh, you're not going to do yourself a whole lot of good. So make sure as soon as you're seeing those rootworm beetles, if you're going to be out there anyway, or if you want to make a special trip, uh, get them under control. One other thing you'll certainly want to get control of in your fields is our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 